Fucking rain. Thanks. Yeah, but I've been to this shop, it's awesome. It's one of those places where you can go and just, like, um, because it open, it's open to like two or three in the morning for people mm -hmm. to get booze and stuff like that because in Japan there's no public drinking rules because generally oh, okay. people don't take the piss. So mm. the idea is you can go in after a night out and get yourself like a couple of bottles of beer for the walk home. Mm. And because there's like public transportation is really good and there's drinking ev and there's beer bins everywhere, you can just drink on the street. So what Fair I was enough. doing is I was going in just like drinking, like walking down. Like basically it looked exactly like this. I went to this area, <laughs> walking out yeah. with beer along the waterfront. It's super fucking awesome. So I think there's a pawn shop around here. I can go sell like those. Here we go. Do you know those items I keep getting for saving people? Mm -hmm. He's going to the pawn shop and sell them. I've got unlimited money, so it doesn't fucking matter. If anything, it's like, please take this shit off my hand. Oh, God, I don't want to buy anything. Unless you sell fishing lures. <gasps> oh, my God, it does. Do you see it, Lucas? The peerless pole. So let's sell all my bullshit and buy a peerless pole. Sell. Sell. I'll sell one of my crayfish, my Swiss watch. Carl, are you actually, like, selling a crayfish right now? No, one of the crayfish. I've only got the other one. Thank you for coming. If you ever get to the point where you have no crayfish, Carl, I'll be disappointing you. I know, I like it. It's cool. So, here we go. High-performance fishing. So, I think this is the best one you can get. And, obviously, it doesn't expect uh, you to get Oh, right, okay. It doesn't expect yeah, you to get Yeah, because last time you it. had, like, the beginner rod. I'm going to spend... I'll spend... Oh, it's a key item. I didn't need clear space in my inventory for it. <laughs> of course, your fishing pole's your key item. Kiryu, never do it. But I love the idea that Kiryu likes fishing. Really cracks me up. Right, I've got stamina and royales. Uh, nothing else I can really get. Perfect. Hey, girl. Bye, girl. Kiryu loves it. I kind of want to go fishing now, but we haven't got any bait. Do you think maybe I, having a good fishing pole will make up for having no bait? So where the fuck do you get bait? Um, yeah. like you don't get it for Don Quixote. What no. other shops we got? Um, like <clears throat> with many items. Let's try the convenience store just to see. Yeah, I'm not sure a convenience store would sell bait, but I, don't, I really want to do the fishing mini game. It doesn't though. appear to be like a fishing store though. No, like, I thought Don Quixote would do it because that's basically just like the random odds and ends shop. Mm -hmm. Like, look how fucking just garish it is. I love it. I want more things to be like this. <laughs> Super awesome. Like, the thing is, if it was open in Britain, you'd have people not wearing masks rubbing their fucking hands all over it. Oh, God, no. God damn. Do you know what I saw the other day, and it genuinely made me angry? And it's one of the, like, one of the few times I've actually thought about being that guy and, like, yelling at a kid. And I thought, oh, no, I'm going to become an old man who yells at kids. And it was people were skateboarding. But there was a group of ten people skateboarding, not wearing helmets or masks. It's like, you can oh, see concrete, and you're not protecting yourself from it, you fucking idiots. Yeah. But Carl, uh, it's not cool to wear a helmet. I'm going to buy an orange though. Luke, do you remember the special orange? I do, yeah. The special orange KO. How about it? What, what would you do? No, no bait there then? Uh, no. Because I went to the bottom. It's like alcohol's right at the bottom, I think. Maybe it's something you get from like just fishing. There's probably a guy mm. in our land. I do where we come from. This, that ancient land of the other city we live in. <laughs> where he'll show you how to fish for the minigame. Fuck it, let's go. Potentially, yeah. Go, I want to go watch porn. Yeah. Porn. Man. She's got it going on. I'm not even mad. <laughs> like everyone, like, I'm just trying to make the screenshot for the thumbnail. There we go. I want, people, I want more people to watch my videos, Lucas. Just like, highlight you with the Macaulay Culkin face. Oh man. That's all yeah. you need. I can't imagine ever getting to the point where I do that. So I wonder, do the people who... The YouTubers who do that, right? They're, they're dumb Markiplier faces. Mm. Do they take an actual screenshot from the video? Because they're always too high quality. Or do they just stand in front of a green screen and make the faces? I think they do that. I think, well, whether it's in front of a green screen or not, or whatever, I think they must record or take a screen, um, take a photo of them doing that reaction and then, like, plonk it on top. And I do wonder, like, that'd be really weird. So this is basically saying, after this we go back to Tokyo. The problem, mm -hmm. like, I, I, we established though, there were no side missions here. Or at least not yeah. one that I'm aware of, except for the Fight Club, which isn't fun. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's weird, because it's either like the Macaulay Culkin shocked reaction ones, or it's the rage ones. Yeah, they're really weird. 
I don't get the idea of like it's really appealing to watch this really like you know just annoying person be angry at things just being purposely abrasive and aggressive you got it's like because obviously that. um one of the famous ones like for that gimmick is angry joe and then angry video game nerd and angry video game nerd of course yeah critic. And every other, like, really bad. I, I say bad in the sense that it's forced and therefore I don't like it. It's, yeah. It's not their actual personality and therefore I don't um, connect with it. And that's the thing is, like, when I was a bit younger, I could watch a couple and go, like, oh, yeah, I get it. It's all right. And now I just can't stand it. Yeah. It's, it's made for children. The way I've described it is it's like, it's like watching um, children's TV. Like um, the people who present CBBS and all that bullshit. It's the same thing. You're putting on a like amicable, faux, friendly front for young children. Essentially. Mm. So this guy uh, he tells what we already know, which is that um, Makoto didn't know she'd inherited the empty lot. Oh, okay, yeah. And then she inherits land worth a billion yen. But now everyone's trying to kill her. I still don't get why they don't just offer her a billion yen. Yeah. Like, just like, sign it out. All you need to do, like, just tell it. It's worth a lot of money. You could sell it to a real estate developer. Or, at which point, we'll kill you and then go buy it from them. Or, mm. just sign on this dotted line. I don't get why they feel like they have to kill her. It'd be it's so really much simpler. Bizarre. All you need to do is just go, here's some money, go away. Yeah, not even Whereas a lot of money. Like, oh, no, we need to, like, get Majima to go kill her and hide the body and... All this stuff. It's a why? Just give her money. And they're saying it right here. Look, like she's got no attachment to that. Someone's actually got in contact with her. She wants to get rid of it. She doesn't want this hassle. <laughs> and imagine, like the entire plot of this game was put into motion by like, that murder on the empty lot, which caused like the thing like, oh, okay, who owns this shit? And mm. the yakuza start squabbling over it. Okay, so I need to go collect her. Let me take the bullet train. Wouldn't the bullet train be faster to go all the way down? You think so? I love the bullet train. Like, what do you I think really want to go on the bullet train. It seems awesome. I didn't get a chance to go on it when I was meant to go be on my trip to Japan. Which I was meant to be there right now. I was meant to ride the bullet train. Oh no! It goes all the way across Japan in an hour and a half. Carl, it, it, instead of you know being on a bullet train, now you get to just play as Kiryu, who's gonna go on it instead. Yeah, I can't like think though, or I can't decide what's cooler. Is it the bullet train? in Japan, or is it the trains in Switzerland that have got like, um, what's it now, the gyroscope the gyroscope technology, have you heard about this? No. Well the trains over there, they have this gyroscope in them for when they're going around mountains and stuff, mm. and they have tables that um, when you've got a drink on them, they never tilt. Oh man. So what they do is they, st and they demonstrate it by showing someone like with a full glass of like champagne or wine, Mm -hmm. and it's like the train's rattling, but because they've got all this gyroscopic stuff inside, it, do it doesn't move, and it stays perfectly still. I can't decide what's cooler, that or the train that goes like 500 miles an hour. I genuinely like, you know, obviously the bullet train's cool. I would, if I was using those trains, much prefer the one where I didn't have to worry about my drink just going everywhere. Yeah, and I went on a train in Switzerland, and they're so awesome, because you could tell that people over there just so used to how beautiful their country is because me and my friend were going through Switzerland and there are like snow peak mountains everywhere. We look like we're going through a postcard for four mm. hours straight and there are people looking at their phones. <laughs> it's like, what? How can you not be like excited or like interested in this? Oh, they see it every day. Hey, look, it's that dickhead. Also, have you, look, look how highlighted his dick bulge is. They modeled that. <laughs> they modeled his dick bulge. I love that. I love how that's how he hands over his business card. Oh, I bet. Did we not beat this shit out of him last time? As Majima, yes. We started with As Majima, yeah. So he's doing pretty good, all things considered. He got his ass kicked, but he's still working, so fair play. Mm -hmm. Oh, who's this dickhead? I like as well the model dick Kiryu's not wearing shoes. <laughs> if you look, he's not got shoes on his feet, he's wearing socks. So she's finally, like, people have actually done the thing of just give us some fucking money and she'll show up. 
Could you ask for a better series of bodyguards of Majima than Kiryu? <laughs> like, nobody's got to lay a finger on this girl. No. Nope. It was a grandfather will, who owned the empty lot. I will say as well, like, um, I was... Like, since we last recorded Yakuza, I, mm -hmm. I watched the Xbox reveal event thing, and I saw the trailer for uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon. Oh, the seventh one. I've already yes. like seen how that game ends because I couldn't do it. I had to watch like I watched like a long play with like fan made subtitles. It's I couldn't not. Oh okay. It's too. Like, the thing is though, I don't care about the story because it's not Kiryu. But Kiryu is in the game, which they spoil in the yeah. fucking first trailer. <laughs> and he's the optional super boss. <laughs> I think like, that's fucking awesome. Of course he is. But it's an I, RPG. Um... Who who's that? The only super boss you could put in a Yakuza RPG. It's fucking Kiryu. <laughs> I did appreciate like the like the style of it. Obviously, it's fucking Yakuza. Also, the music in it's phenomenal. But it seemed really fucking cool from the trailer. But I don't know how into like the RPG aspect I'm gonna be because like think, Yakuza's yeah. got like really cool combat. But I never know. Like maybe they'll just make it super stylish RPG attacks instead. They do, but I do wonder though how sick of some of those summon animations I'll get after a while. Mm -hmm. Oh, they look cool the first time. I get a bit sick of it after a bit. Oh. Oh, she recognises his voice. Big criminal man. Oh, no. And you know Kiryu's not going to fucking stand for that shit. Mm -hmm. like, do you really think he's going to stand there and let a woman get hurt? Because <laughs> that's one of the other things, like, because he's in Yakuza 7. When you do your boss fight against him, he will not hit a female member of the party. What? He absolutely refuses to hit a female member of your party. They take no damage from him. Kiryu doesn't hit women. But then surely that just trivializes the super boss. Oh no, because the female members of your party are healers, so they can't really do much damage to him. Mm -hmm. Well, theory, like, Kiryu won't hit women, even with his like area of effect attacks. Because yeah, Kiryu's got area of effect attacks. Of course he does. <laughs> Look at him. What a man. <laughs> I thought he was driving then, just looking really far back. <laughs> I was getting really worried, man. If I saw a driver do that, I'd hit him. I'd be like, please turn around. Like, I don't, I don't want you, you know, facing that way. Oh, Kiryu's not liking this. Like, this is some awkward level car, car journey is. going on. I've been on an awkward car journey before. That's like, that's up there, that. <laughs> so that guy, not loving it. Oh. I'm glad you get to hear the um, music for this one, Lucas, because I know what bit's coming up. Oh, okay. I know what's coming up. So, Lucas, this is a Japanese game, right? Yeah. What have we not had in this Japanese game yet? We're on the road. What do they always put in Japanese games out of nowhere? Well, like a racing section? No, it's an on-rail shooter section. Ah, okay. Do you ever wonder why Camille always puts... Oh, no, look! <laughs> so listen to this fucking soundtrack, Lucas. Oh, my God, no. I think, like, oh, it's getting good. I'm starting... I'm waiting, though, for the taxi driver to do a heat move and do that thing <laughs> that, that happens in F-Zero. During the car oh, the, spins. Um, like the I'm battle waiting. twirl. In Yakuza 5, there is, like, a taxi driving mini game, and you do get to do heat moves in it. And your taxi can do, like... <gasps> Oh, that's brutal. I appreciate the fact that, you know, the taxi driver sat perfectly still while He's someone a... slowly aimed a gun at his head. Hey, taxi drivers in Japan are fucking professionals. <laughs> oh, Kiryu's not happy about this. What a dick. Oh, also remember, Lucas, Kiryu never killed anyone. <laughs> I want you to keep that in mind as you see what I'm about to do. Okay, let's go. Oh, look at that screenshot! Oh man. Sell a video game in like one gif. It's coming up. <laughs> oh, this is that Lucas. It's a boss fight in a taxi. Yeah, cause it's awesome! Taxi fight! Ah, 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 how do I shoot? <laughs> Triangle to shoot, square to shoot. Oh yeah, also you can use heat moves with a gun. Heat Wait, eye. We've drawn the car to reload. Hold X to stay safe inside the car. Alright, so. Oh, he's dead. Oh my god. Yeah, Red dead, here we go. 
Oh, I've got heat moves in my car. Oh, get back in, reload. Oh, God. oh Kiryu never killed anyone, Luca. Yeah, Remember no that. one. <laughs> Remember that Kiryu's never killed. Oh, heat moves. That call. Kiryu didn't kill them. The no, bullets did. No, it's not my fault. The explosion killed those people. Oh, God. oh my god, he's just right. the thing is, well, brutally I'm, murdering everybody inside. I don't get, inside. why is this driving section as shit and my like, arcade as it is? Better than the one in uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Have you heard about how bad the motorcycle sections are in that game? No. They're so bad that when you do New Game Plus it takes them out. You can Wait, skip what? them. Yeah, the motorcycle sections are so unfun. Like, they get taken out of the game in New Game Plus. Because they know people don't want to fucking do it. Oh but god, like, he got me! At that point, it's not why are they in the game, man? Yeah, they're not fun. Just put more dance sections in. Oh, Kiryu like, never... If you know that people are going to want to skip it a second time round, why is it in there the first time? Oh, Kiryu never killed anyone. Uh, Joe should be coming up to them. That thing that they have in this game. Of, um, what is it now? Joe, you know the names come up so I can tell who they are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so does, so. Like, does Sega own? What is it Sega owns? They must own a light gun shooter, right? Like silent they scope. They must do. Can you Google that? I'm, I'm not a big right arcade now, like. person in terms of like, knowledge of who owns what, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, you've got a computer in front of you now. While I'm just doing this little section here, Google Sega oh my light God, gun that shooter. Was one shot. And just, yeah, he's fucking... Oh, God. Heat eye mode. So I'm going to use, like... I'm gonna, you know what? Just so I can keep watching it. Just gonna pull out my phone instead. Do it. I just want to know because I'm pretty sure they own like Silent Scope or um, House of the Dead, maybe. Uh, they must own one of those. Ooh, oh, that, God, that sounds guy. like that might be right. Oh, this guy's so taking Sega some fucking arcade damage. Shooter. I'm just curious about that. Arcade games, yeah. Oh, oh, I just took it. It's fine. I'm gonna play it out. Tell you what, there's a lot of um... light gun shooters out there. No, uh, like list of Sega arcade video games that all like vehicle based. Why can't I aim my gun? Uh, um, look, at, look at this screenshot, look at Kiryu. Look at that map! <laughs> no effort, I love it. There's no one on screen. I'm not getting the option to shoot anybody. The hell's going on? Wait, what? Uh, okay. They're Maybe just loading in like, the new enemies. Maybe it's a time thing. But, there we go. Nah, yeah. Yeah, because I, maybe I shot too many people and Joey was just like, it's on an on rails thing where it's, it's I just, oh god! Oh yeah, they, they own House of the Dead. There we go, so like, why is it not turning to House of the Dead all of a sudden? Because like, you know it happened. <laughs> also, Lucas, yeah, they're shooting rocket launchers and attacks it. Oh god, no! What? Just shooting god. rocket launchers. Kiryu never, oh, I'm low on health as well. The thing is, Carl, I'm just scrolling through list of Sega arcade video games. God. It's like they got House of the Dead, Outrun, and Samba the Amigo. They could combine those into like the most Like, amazing. just make it all one game. <laughs> yeah, I need to start hiding inside the taxi cab because I'm taking so much damage. Oh! Um, yeah, so what I was going to ask, Carl, mm -hmm. is there a, a section of a video game that, like, is mandatory that you basically don't go back to a game because you remember that one part? Uh, the beginning of every Bethesda RPG. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Uh, the hour long thing. Also, the beginning of Final Fantasy X. Which is like okay. two hours long. Which is really nice. I love that game. Also, Lucas, yeah, fight a helicopter. Oh my god. With no help. It's fine. As long as I hide inside attacks. Oh, hide inside. Oh, no! no! Yeah! Oh, I've got it. Oh, um, I'm dead. oh god, no. Kiryu died. He got me. The thing is, though, Kiryu taking what? Like a minigun <laughs> round? It's pretty impressive. It's okay because I think you just start again with full health. Because, yeah, there's a few games that come like to mind when. You know, I go, oh, I could replay that again. Oh, wait, I'd have to do that, that section. Bit. Oh my god, I have to do the entire thing again. Oh no, Carl, Are you fucking kidding no. me? Because uh, one uh, that always used to like bother me was um, you haven't played but The Wind Waker, the Zelda game. Is it like, was it getting the water? I'm going to use the uh, for everything. It's not, not so much that. There's one specific section where it's like you've got to find the Triforce of Courage. But it means you've got to find... Like eight different um, map pieces. Pay oh, I've money heard about to the Triforce being translated, and then go find the shards and stuff. But in the Wii, Wii U version, the HD version, no they shorten use... that section down. So now I'm like, now. oh, yeah, I was going to use heat for everything. Yeah, I just, would. Heat eye just gives you like an instant kill. So maybe that's why I wasn't like surviving. Just abuse this mechanic as much as I can because it increases the damage of all your bullets. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, um, the ones in Final Fantasy VII Remake are awful. 
And they took they they say you don't have to replay them anymore. So at that point, you're admitting that they're not fun. Yeah. Take them out. Oh, damn it, that is bizarre to me that they literally admitted the cells. Like we know you don't want to play this. It's like, well, don't put it in. If it's not fun, like what is it Shigeru Miyamoto says? Or is it Reggie Fisame? If it's not fun, what's the point? Uh, oh, that's like just that kind of like, I think, I don't know if that's a... It's a philosophy at Nintendo, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know if it's a specific, like, person, but it is, like, Nintendo's philosophy, and a lot of the time, they will make a mechanic and then make the game afterwards. Oh my god, look at that guy. Fucking disco kid <laughs> here. It's like Splatoon. They came up with the, the like, concept, yeah. Oh my god, that van is rapid. <laughs> they came up with, like, the gameplay first, and then went, oh, what world fits around this? Let's make something interesting. Die, die, die. I kind of wish it had like the big red dots that you get sometimes during the fly toy, like in Time Crisis. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Let the taxi take that one. Oh my god, these guys. It's taking take some fucking beating, innit? Oh, hide inside. I'm sorry. No. Come on, shoot. Oh god, I took it. There we go. I think I've got a bit more say, health like, last time. If you just take out the drivers, does that work? Uh, it does, yes. But I'm not sure you can like aim at the drivers first. Yeah. Oh god, they're shooting missiles at the car, Lucas. And Hello. reload. Oh god, Q just took a missile. This bit is brutal. It is because I'm on hard mode. And there's that problem with Shit, hard mode, making some are, yeah. things a lot harder than others. Because it's just increased the health of all the cars. But not increased my health. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, get inside, get inside the car. So I'm not like great at this, but I think it's like a stupid arcade oh. minigame. I think I'm doing alright, but. Can I heal? Thing no. is, I can't like, heal. I, um, there is no heal. I really respect the. Is it Oda? Yeah, for keeping yeah, his cool. I respect his driving right now. Yeah, I have no options to um, heal. Oh god. So I need to kill this helicopter without taking a single hit. <laughs> okay, oh god, I've got a fucking minigun and a rocket launcher. God damn it. Good luck, Carl. Where's my option? No, nope. there's no option to make it easier. Oh, there we go. Got it. Oh, God, no. Oh. Oh. Kill you. Oh, no. No. Shit, Lucas. Are you okay? Are you ready, though, Lucas? Yeah, kill you shoots the missile. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Look at this man. Oh, he's like, took he it. Got, like, on the actual like, head of the ro rocket as well. Yeah. Oh, no, Carl. Not... Just firing like a madman. Can you just heat either? There you go. I am, yeah. So I killed the guy. There we go. Shoot. Now I wanted to shoot the minigun first. Oh my god. Yeah, shoot This guy is shooting rockets like faster than humanly possible. Because I've got to get the um, the minigun guy first because he can just do damage over time. Whereas the rocket launch guy, I can shoot his things out of the air. Yeah. Oh no. It's fine. It hit the car. Right, use heat eye on this guy. Right, hide inside, hide inside, hide inside. Come on. Yeah, I got him! Yeah! Whew! It's a liberal... Oh, oh, oh. Kiryu never killed anybody. Oh my god, no. How many people did I shoot then? <laughs> I'm gonna say oh. that that puts in, like, probably in the triple figures in terms of just murder. I'd also right like there. to say as well, like, Kiryu was pulling off, like, Dante level shit in that chase. <laughs> uh, he was shooting missiles out of the air. He bullseyed a missile. In midair, in while mid hanging out of a car, one-handed, <laughs> even though he's never used a gun before. <laughs> like, he doesn't use or like guns, and he did that. And can you see now why this is a legend surrounding this guy? Also, why would you try and fight him? I don't know. Like, Shibasawa said, okay, so what do we send after Kiryu? Oh we sent, like, 14... Um, Cars, a few vans, a couple motorcycles, a helicopter with a minigun and a rocket launcher. What <laughs> happened? He took them all out with a handgun. <laughs> uh, oh, what are we going to do now? I'll oh, send a guy to try and beat him up. What? <laughs> Is that bear in mind as well? Oh, yeah, we had no taxi driver while we were doing that. Yeah, yeah. Like, I fucking... shot the driver, sent an army at him, and he came out. Like, yeah, fair play to Oda for driving through all that from yeah. the passenger seat. Fair play to Kiryu for taking how many missile rockets to the face? <laughs> also, Makoto, not a scratch on her. Yeah, she's fine. There we go. Look, Kiryu would not stand for that. 
I love as well, like, Oda's thinking, could I take him? He's like, no. <laughs> I've just seen what he did in the back of that car. Like, why the hell would you raise a hand to a woman in front of this man? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, he would break you in two. <laughs> what, are you okay? <laughs> so, what a great question. Yeah, big dick Kiryu, you got it right first time, love. Oh no. Oh, this is where, this is where the, like, the penny drops, I think. Really? You're going to pull a gun on me? You really think this is going to work? <laughs> really? Why would you approach him? No, no, don't get close. That's a really bad idea. And Kiryu just stood there. It's because he's gone do it. He's, Joe, the only reason as well you know he didn't move is not because he was scared of getting shot, he didn't want her to get shot. Mm -hmm. that, you know that if he'd have just pulled the gun on him and no one else was there, Kiryu would have walked up and punched him. But because yeah. there's a risk that the blind girl might get hurt. I'm just waiting for her to like... Hit him in the pull nuts. that staff in half with a knife in one half. Like, oh! oh Lucas, how oh, did you call what? that? Oh, blind girl's got skills! Majima Tech! I was like, oh. I'm literally waiting for this. Oh, she fucking did it! The thing is though, Kiryu won't shoot him because Kiryu doesn't shoot people. Are you sure, Cop? Yeah, that's what I mean! They put this <laughs> scene in of him refusing to shoot Oda after he just shot like 40 people. It's Literally great. moments after we just mowed down an army of people with a handgun. Oh, that's, a really, that's a really good weapon. Who's going to suspect a blind person? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of want to know this, so. Oh, he's just being a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> ah, here we go. Are they going to model him lifting up his sleeve? I'm curious. No, they're just going to pan to another model. They might do. Let's see. I'm curious. So you can still see you still got your sleeve. Oh no, there we go. Oh, he does. Is that a bat? Oh, is that, yeah, is that it a boggling? Kind of, it looks like a man bat from Batman. <laughs> it looks like a boggling. Do you remember boggling? Yeah. Something like that a little bit. So he was involved with like sex slave. But also um, Tachi Banner has one. Well, he's got to clear that. He's got the better bat. Yeah. Oh man, they're not words you want to say next to Kiryu. No. Like his urge to punch is rising. So I've got so many heat moves I could do right now. Oh, I hate when bad guys do this. Do you? Mm -hmm. They try and convince the bad guy not, like, the good guy not to kill them. It's like, oh, killing me would be, like, you know, the easy way out. It's like, no, you want me to shoot you because you don't want to know what happens to you in prison. Yeah. <laughs> so you try to taunt me into shooting you. Because you know. You know what Kiri will do. So like, obviously we've been playing this apart and stuff. I'm not sure. Like, does Oda know that Tachi Banner is the the actual guy or whatever? Yeah, he does. Because obviously he's got the same tattoo. And um, Makoto immediately fingered him as one of the people who sold her into Slex Savory. Sex mm. Slavery, I should say. I said Slex Savory and that's awful. <laughs> Ah, okay, yes. So he headed up the gang and Tashi Banner was in it, but Tashi Banner's now in charge for some reason. And Kimmy, who's just like, the fuck are you talking about? I will murder you. I like how he's, again, he's trying to make it sound like, oh man, I was forced into it. <laughs> like, poor me. I had no other job. I had to go into sex slavery. Yeah, there's no, like, there was no other way to make money in a world where you might get into fist fights on the street and make 20 grand. <laughs> there was no, there was literally nothing else. I had to sell girls into sex slavery. It's like, mate, 
Could have you not just like, you know, put your CV in at a shop? Yeah. So no, I was an illegal immigrant. Oh no. Would you not want to be like, you know, a labourer? Oh, yeah, do true. Odds and odd jobs. No, no, I had to be a criminal. Yeah, I had to do it. I had, I had to, to immediately go to selling women off. So apparently Tashi Banner was like in his prime, he was a fucking don. Mm -hmm. And he beat Oda so handily in a fist fight, he's like, I didn't even have a chance. Yeah. And I got one out. What a bitch. That's pretty bold as well, right? Getting the, the tattoo on your arm. Because the reason the Yakuza have it on their back is so they can cover it with a shirt. Mm -hmm. So they're basically like saying, we don't give a fuck. We, you know we're criminals. Yeah. Just on it straight away. I want to know how he lost his arm though, because they've not actually told us that. So he lost it protecting me. Oh wow, yeah, literally just... Oh yeah, a gang attack, doesn't he lost an arm? Oh no. What, whatever reason could they have had to attack us? <laughs> All we did is sell people into sex slavery, why are they attacking us? They're so hard done by, Carl. Yep. テレビで中国残留孤児の特集番組がやってて、そこに。why are you still trying to make me feel sorry for you? I don't get why they're still trying to make us feel sorry for him. Yeah, I don't you, know. You sold people into slavery. There is no redemption for you. I don't get it. I hate when like games and media and fiction tries to do this. If they show someone doing like an irredeemable thing and then try and make you like, like them. Oh, it's so weird. It's like, I literally like kidnapped and sold women, but let's try and make less redeemable arc. Also, oh, it turns out it's actually Tashi Banner's sister. That's his sister and he sold her at sex slavery. Oh. What a twist! Oh no. So there it is. Tashi Banner actually had nothing to do with it. So that was like the swerve. We, you see, he's got the bat tattoo. But it's actually mm. he's the one who actually did the crimes. He just joined the gang. And then never asked them how they made all their money or got all their enemies. <laughs> There's no redemption for you. Fuck you. It's like Kylo Ren all over again. Here he is genociding an entire planet. Oh no, but he feels really bad about it. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> There's no he redemption. He feels bad about murdering Han Solo though. It's like, oh man. Like, he feels worse killing one person than he does murdering an entire planet. <laughs> So dumb. Do you see the thing as well where uh, they try to retcon that and said the kiss that Kylo Ren has with Rey was just like a platonic friendship kiss? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, because I always kiss my friends like that. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna greet you after this is all over, Lucas. Oh god, no. Slap a big wet snog on you. I don't think I'm even gonna shake hands with people anymore. God. Do you see the one as well? They said, oh yeah, the Emperor uh, never had sex. Because people will like say, oh, Emperor Palpatine had sex because he had a son. And Disney like doesn't like the idea of like alluding to sex in any of its stuff. So it's like, no, actually, that guy who looks nothing like him was a clone. <laughs> it's like, why are you really, like, that came out like two weeks after the film did. It's like, why are you like retconning this? Like, you're retconning stuff that people invented in their head to make the film better. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, at least the Emperor got to like, you know, get laid. He was just like there laying pipe across the universe. Like, no, it's a clone. The Emperor doesn't know what sex is. It's like, God damn it. But it's like, as a counsellor, like, back when he wasn't the Emperor, like, surely he would have been, you know, been getting some. No, he never had sex, he had a clown. Like that. So this is his redemption. I, I looked at the way he, like, I saw the way he looked at Anakin. He'd do it. 
So he gets to go right out the hero. If you give him the gun, and he's gonna like hold off the guys chasing you for as long as he can. But it's like, oh god. Now, I don't mind that. Like, he knows he's done bad and he knows he's gonna die. And in his head, that's redemption. I still don't think he deserves forgiveness. No. Because even after, like, he saw the light, as it were, and joined Tashi Banner. Mm -hmm. And it's like, he was still working for a, like, a fairly corrupt real estate company that, like, coerces people into selling their stuff. So he was still being a dick even after he tried to become a good guy. Oh, yeah. And Kiryu gave him way more than he deserved there. Of telling him, then if you again, don't shoot people, they'll let you live. Like, you know, Kiryu did just murder a bunch of people, so. Well, they, tried, they shot him first. That's the rule. <laughs>